She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I show you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, I'm so excited here because as you see, I have special guests, and it's my friend Steve and his wife Joe, who are in from Seoul, Korea. It's so glad to have you back because well, you've been on the show before, haven't you, Steve? Yeah, in fact, I think the last time we were here in the area, we were here in 2011, of course, I had to stop by and see you. Well, yes, and we, Joe, it's so good to see you, good too. To see you, too. So glad to be here in the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. We've got a great cook recipe today and guess what Steve what it uses tomato soup get out of town we're gonna be using tomato soup to make a great spice cookie up next on the trailer park cooking show with my friend Steve and his wife Joe we'll see you back in just a bit welcome back making my tomato soup cookies is really simple and I've got my friend Steve and Joe here to help me out now this does sound unusual, I mean tomato soup and cookies, who would have ever thought this would make a good cookie, but it really is going to taste good with all the spices in it. I've got my stand mixer here, and what we're going to do is we're going to put one can of tomato soup right on in there. So let's go ahead and just dunk it right on in there. Now I know that is scary, and I know you all are scared here too, but it's going to be okay. There we go. Now we're going to add two eggs to that, and we're just going to whip that right on up, and we'll check back with you in just a moment. Now that you got the soup and the eggs mixed up, we're going to add one stick of butter right on in there, and we're just going to mix this up just a little bit more. Okay, once you have that mixed together, you're going to add one and a half teaspoons of salt. Make sure you don't get it all over your counter, but we're going to dump that right on in there. Now you're going to add two teaspoons of cinnamon, and I like to use Saigon cinnamon. It just tastes better to me. Ooh. It's like a better cinnamon to me. It's like a natural cinnamon. And we're just going to add that right on in there. That's two teaspoons of that. Now this is going to give it a nice spice taste. One teaspoon, and then two teaspoons right on into there, and then one teaspoon of ground nutmeg and that's gonna really make it kind of like a gingerbread taste to it and I'm gonna put that right on in there and we're gonna mix this around just a little bit okay now that you've got that mixed together you're gonna add three and a half cups of sugar Ooh. yeah I know it, we probably lost all the healthy people now but <laughs> Oh well, this makes a really good cookie, so let's go ahead and start adding that in there. Okay, now that we've got that mixed up, I'm going to add two cups of walnuts. You can add any kind of nuts that you like, but I like walnuts, so they're going to go right on in there. And two cups of seedless raisins right on in there, just like that. Now this is two teaspoons of baking soda. That goes right on in there. And I have four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Now we're gonna mix this all in so that it is well mixed. So we're gonna pour a little bit in and mix it and then keep going until we run out of it. So let me do that and check back with you in just a moment. 
Okay, now we have our batter, and look how pretty that is. Almost like a gingerbread oranges color here. What we're gonna do is I've got a sprayed down cookie sheet here, and I'm just gonna use a cookie scooper here, and we're just gonna drop them about teaspoon size fulls on the baking sheet. Well, actually, I'm, I'm done doing the hard part. You all are just <laughs> gonna put them down there on the baking sheet, so get to work, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. That's one. Keep on going until it's full. It smells like we had your different how y'all doing in there? We got one. We got one. Very thick batter. And in 2027, we finish. Yeah, let's take a look. <laughs> well, if anybody wanted four cookies, we have those. Four cookies are too kind. They, they just, I, I guess we can call that. I don't know there. And it, well, let me finish this pan and we'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now we have a pan of cookies and I preheated the oven to 350 degrees and they're going to bake for about 12 minutes. So, Set your timer! And there you have it, my tomato soup cookie. Look at that. Could you imagine a tomato soup in that cookie? No. That, that is, we're going to taste this in just a moment, and it looks just like a regular cookie here. No one could tell the difference right away, and it smells kind of like cinnamon and nutmeg there, and we use the raisins and the walnuts in it, and it just looks like a regular cookie, but we're going to give it a taste to see if we taste any tomato soup, so get ready. Here we go. Wonderful. Yeah, I don't. It tastes like a nice spice cookie to me, and almost like gingerbread. Like a gingerbread. Mm-hmm. Gingerbread Very moist um, in the middle, but crunchy on the outside, and the raisins and the nuts really pull together. Right? Mm -hmm. Very surprised. Very surprised. People wouldn't even guess that there's tomato soup in this cookie. Wow. I think this is a winner. What do you think, Joe? It Joe's? is definitely Absolutely. a winner. How about you see? This is, this is fantastic. This is really unusual. I hope you get a chance to make my tomato soup cookie. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. And, of course, add me as a friend all over the place. I'm on Facebook, Instagram. You know I'm all over the place. Look for me. And, of course, find Steve, too. Steve's on the Internet, too, and does all sorts of fun things, too. And, wow, I'm so glad that you stopped by to be a guest. Thank and you. Thank you for I'm, having us. The, yeah, it's so great to have friends in the trailer park. And, you know, it's right here in the trailer park test kitchen. Hit that big old subscribe button. I'll be back soon with some more shows. I love y'all, and we'll see you back real soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.